yes hello dear students how are you all hope that you are all uh, safe in home stay home for safety purpose so already we have discussed about inverse trigonometric functions right now so almost one month gap, gap is there now now uh, now it's not possible to take the classes so now we'll recall what all the things we learned in inverse trigonometric functions okay before going with the inverse trigonometric functions uh, some of the domain and ranges of trigonometric functions we'll learn now first okay so now we'll consider now trigonometric functions and its domain and range okay to find the uh, domain and domain and range for inverse trigonometric function we want the domain and ranges for trigonometric functions okay so now we'll consider trigonometric function here and domain here and range here okay so first trigonometric function is what sin x okay as you know f is a function from set of all real number to set of all real number therefore the domain for sin function becomes a set of all real number okay so what about its range as you know that domain is nothing but what set of all x values these all set of all x values we are taking from r okay that is from set of all real numbers now go on substituting the value if you put x as 0 degree first sin 0 is 0 okay if you put sin x uh, x value as 30 degree that is pi by 6 if you uh, put it as sin pi by 6 answer is what 1 by 2 okay if you taken it as 45 degrees that is pi by 4 that is uh, 1 by root 2 okay if you taking it as uh, 90 degree sin 90 degree value is 1 okay and if you take it as a sin 180 degree its value is 0 if you take x as 270 sin 270 value is minus 1 if you take x as 360 degree its value is 0 okay the maximum value of sine function is minus 1 sorry maximum value of sine function is plus 1 and minimum value of sine function is minus 1 okay if you take x as minus 90 degree sine of minus 90 is minus sin 90 as you know that sine of minus theta is minus sin theta therefore the range of sine function is closed interval minus 1 to plus 1 okay and this all you learned in first year also right now so next function is what cos x for cos x domain is also what set of all real number okay now go on putting the set of real numbers as domain x is belongs to set of all real number if you consider x as 0 degree cos 0 is 1 if you consider x as 30 degree cos 30 degree value is root 3 by 2 if you consider x as 45 cos 45 is 1 by root 2 if you consider cos a, x as 60 degree cos 60 degree value is 1 by 2 if you consider x as 90 degree cos 90 degree value is 0 if you considered x as 180 degree cos 180 degree is minus 1 okay and if you consider uh, 270 degree cos 270 value is 0 if you consider 360 degree cos 360 value is 1 if you consider cos of minus 90 as you know cos of minus theta is plus cos theta therefore it is cos of minus 90 becomes plus cos 90 that is what 0 right now so therefore the maximum value of cos function is 1 and minimum value of cos function is minus 1 therefore this range is also closed interval minus 1 to plus 1 okay and next we'll go to next trigonometric function that is what a tan x okay this uh, what about the domain of tan x okay as you know tan is written as sine by cos right now it depends on sine and sine and cos values and now uh, if you uh, as you know f is a function from set of all real number to real number if we consider the domain of tan is set of all real number so now go on putting the values okay first substitute zero degree as you know it is a it is a sine by cos sin 0 by cos 0 you can get sin 0 tan 0 degree value as what 0 okay and if you consider x as 30 degree it becomes 1 by root 3 if you take 45 tan 45 is 1 60 degree tan 60 degree is root 3 if you consider x as 90 degree it becomes now see tan 90 value you see sin 90 by cos 90 sin 90 value is 1 and cos 90 is 0 1 by 0 for 90 degree it is not defined okay remember this for 90 degree it is not defined and again take for 180 degree 180 degree it is sin 180 by cos 180 as you know sin 180 is 0 and cos 180 is minus 1 0 by minus 1 so it's 0 okay so now consider 270 degree sin 270 by cos 270 sin 270 value is minus 1 and cos 270 is 0 minus 1 by 0 again it is not defined okay so for what angles it is not defined for 90 degree it is not defined and for 270 degree it is not defined and similarly 
tan function is not defined for odd multiples of 90 degree okay so from set of all real numbers we have to exclude we have to exclude odd multiples of 90 degree so that odd multiples of 90 degree we can write the what is the general form of odd number it's a 2n plus 1 okay from set of all real numbers we have to exclude the values that is what odd multiples of pi by 2 for every n belongs to z here okay so now if uh, if you consider the domain as set of all real numbers excluding odd multiples of 90 degree so now you you have to, you have to consider now the maximum value becomes okay for if you are taken tan 90 degree tan 90 degree value is infinity and if you consider it as a tan of minus 90 tan of minus 90 is what minus tan 90 it becomes minus infinity okay as you know that uh, it's it takes its maximum value is uh, plus infinity and minimum value is what minus infinity as you know infinity and minus infinity both are not included therefore the range of range of tan function is open interval minus infinity to plus infinity okay so next function is what cortex will take okay so what about uh, the domain of cortex it is set of all real numbers okay so set of all real number will consider okay so we'll consider set of real number as the domain and now go on putting the value uh, cot 0 you take cot 0 is what cos 0 by sin 0 cos 0 is 0 sorry cos 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 so 1 by 0 therefore at 0 degree cot x is not defined okay and for 30 degree 30 degree answer is what root 3 okay and 45 degree you take 45 degree is 1 and 60 degree you take it's 1 by root 3 and tan 9 cot 90 you take it's 0 and now come to cot 180 degree cot 180 degree is what it is becomes infinity because it is sin 180 by cos 180 as you know uh, sorry cos 180 by sin 180 cos 180 value is what minus 1 minus 1 divided by 0 which is again not defined okay for 180 it is not defined okay remember for 0 degree not defined 270 it is not defined and now go with the 360 degree okay uh, now put the cos 360 divided by sin 360 and cos 360 value is 1 sin 360 value is 0 1 by 0 again for 360 it is not defined okay now consider 270 cos 270 by sin 270 cos 270 cos 270 value is 0 and sin 270 value is minus 1 therefore it is 0 cos 270 cot 270 value is 0 okay so for which which angles it is it is not defined for 0 degree it is not defined and 180 degree it is not defined 360 it is not defined okay it's nothing but from set of all real numbers we have to exclude multiples of 180 degrees okay multiples of 180 that is we are writing n into pi n into pi multiples of 180 from set of all real numbers we have to exclude um, multiples of 180 that is for every n belongs to z okay Again, you consider the maximum value for cot becomes plus infinity. It's going to approach plus infinity and minimum value is minus infinity. So, whatever the values you substituted x as set of real numbers excluding multiples of 180. So, we have to exclude minus infinity and plus infinity. So, for range for cortex is also open interval minus infinity to plus infinity. And we can write open interval minus infinity to plus infinity. It is uh, indirectly nothing but set of all set of all real numbers okay it's represent a real line that is what set of all real number okay for tan and cot also and now consider for sec x okay what about the domain for sec x okay sec x is nothing but 1 divided by cos right now 1 divided by cos remember this and now go on substituting x values and now we'll consider set of all real number now we now will think what about the domain of sec x is it coming set of all real numbers or uh, anything else we'll we'll see now um, now substitute x as 0 degree sec 0 okay what is sec 0 1 by cos 0 what is cos 0 it's 1 1 by 1 it's 1 okay um, then sec 30 degree sec 30 d value is 2 by root 3 and uh, 45 degree it's root 2 and now come to 60 degree it's 2 and now come to sec 90 degree sec 90 is what 1 by cos 90 1 by cos 90 degree 1 by cos 90 what is 1 by cos 90 1 by 0 1 by 0 again it is not defined for 90 degree remember sec is not defined for 90 degree and now consider 180 degree 
1 by cos 180 that is 1 by minus 1 so it's minus 1 okay its value is exist okay now consider 270 1 by cos 270 again 1 by cos 270 as you know the cos 270 value is 0 so 1 by 0 again which is not defined okay so it's not defined for odd multiples of 90 degree it's not defined for 90 degree 270 degree right now so it's not defined for odd multiples of 90 degree therefore sec range is set of all real numbers excluding odd multiples of 90 degree okay and here also for every n belongs to set of all integers and what about its range okay so here also you think as I uh, as I told the odd multiples of 90 degree it's not defined okay and you can get the maximum value of sec is approaches to plus infinity and minimum value is approaching to minus infinity okay so for and again see and the sum of the values for sec values from open interval minus 1 to plus 1 the values are not included 1 is included and minus 1 is included but minus 1 to 1 we are not getting any value like minus 1 to 1 what all the values are coming just to see minus 1 by 2 for any any angle sec is not giving minus 1 by 2 or plus 1 by 2 like that from minus 1 to plus 1 the values for sec is not exist it is set of all real number but not the values of minus 1 to plus 1 so range for sec function is set of all real numbers excluding the values from minus 1 to plus 1 that I am written as open interval why open interval because minus 1 is included plus 1 is included but minus 1 to 1 the value is not included okay so now we'll consider next function as cosec okay the cosec x function the set of all real numbers okay so now we'll consider as f is a function from set of all real numbers to set of all real number we'll think is it a is it a set of all real number or a, anything else we'll see okay so first first foot x as 0 degree cosec 0 as you know cosec is defined as cosec x is defined as 1 by sin x so 1 by sin 0 if x is 0 1 by sin 0 1 by sin 0 sin 0 value is 0 1 by 0 which is not defined for 0 degree right now and now consider 30 degree 1 by sin 30 so its value is 2 and for 45 degree its value is root 2 and for 60 degree its value is 2 by root 3 and for x is 90 degree x 90 1 by sin 90 x 90 so x is 1 by sin 90 1 by 1 for 90 degree its value is 1 okay and if you consider it as 180 degree 1 by sin 180 1 by sin 180 1 by 0 again it is not defined for 180 degree okay as you know it is not defined for 0 not defined for 180 okay and now you consider 360 also 1 by sin 360 1 by sin 0 1 by sorry 1 by sin 360 1 by 0 again it is not defined for 360 for 270 it is defined it's 1 by sin 270 1 by minus 1 so its value is minus 1 for 270 it's not defined for 0 degree 180 degree and 360 degree okay so from set of all real numbers we have to exclude the multiples of pi okay for every n belongs to z okay now we'll consider its range what it is the range coming and see what all the values you list what all the values you um, you observe now for 0 degree it's not defined for 30 degree its value is 2 45 it's root 2 and 60 degree its value is 2 by root 3 okay and for 180 degree it's infinity for 360 degree it is infinity okay so infinity means not defined for 180 degree 360 degree and 0 degree okay and here also we we can have all the values from set of all real number but not values but not the values from open interval minus 1 to plus 1 okay minus 1 is also included plus 1 is also included but not the values from plus 1 to minus 1 to plus 1 okay so therefore for cosec x range is set of all real numbers excluding open interval minus 1 to plus 1 okay and this all you learned in first year but we want we want to find uh, inverse trigonometric functions domain and range so we need the help of trigonometric functions domain and range okay okay thank you